Packages from Planet X is an American, Canadian animated television series produced by American Greetings and DHX Media, Vancouver that premiered on Disney XD on July 13, 2013. Canada's Teletoon and Teletoon aired it on January 16, 2014 as part of their Can't Miss Thursday lineup. Topic: Characters. Topic: Main characters. Daniel Aloysius, Dan Zembrowski, Vincent Tong is the 16-year-old protagonist who typically hangs out with his best friends Amanda and Troll. Since he started receiving packages, Dan has taken on a slight hero role. There have been multiple occasions where he uses them to his advantage in the group's everyday lives, but he still always comes through. Amanda Highborn Britt Irvin, is the genius of the group due to her uncle Rory leaving her a journal telling her about the packages and what do they do. Her uncle's disappearance has made Amanda suspicious about everyone in Iron Bay being aliens and made her determined to find Rory. It was revealed in A Night at West Iron High that Amanda was afraid of dolls. It's well known that her mother is obsessed with shoes and tries to make her a pageant girl. She was responsible for Kurt being damaged and feels guilty for whenever she makes a mistake. Troll Moko Ty Olson, is Dan's best friend and his right-hand man. Like Dan, Troll usually acts first and asks questions later when it comes to packages. He respects all nature and animals, except raccoons, due to one of his ancestors being a raccoon hunter. Despite Troll's chubby weight, it's been shown on rare occasions that he is a great cook and that he's freakishly strong. Corvus Copernicus, Leapthor, Brian Drummond, is the series' antagonist who constantly tries to take the packages back from Dan, cocoon everyone in Iron Bay and take over Earth in the name of Planet X. When he first came to the planet, Leapthor took over Copernicus' body and used him as a cover so he won't be exposed. It was once hinted that Leapthor was Rory's rival. He was temporarily sent back to Planet X in the Season 1 finale, but was placed back on the Earth mission. Calamary Tabitha Saint -Germain, is a mutated squibbon a monkey with giant squid arms attached to her back who is Copernicus' sidekick and his first mutant creation. Despite her cravings for banana fish and her slight stupidity, Copernicus considers her his closest friend. Calamary temporarily teamed up with Troll in Mission to Planet X and considered joining Dan's group, but Troll, seeing Copernicus needed her more than them, let Calamary return to serving her master. <inaudible> <inaudible> Recurring characters Kurt is a robot assistant, the keeper of the group's packages at the abandoned observatory and the first package Dan ever received. He has a huge dent on his head, which results in him speaking in riddles. In Kurt Meets Bert, it's revealed that Amanda was responsible for Kurt's damage as she kicked him in the head. Dwayne Zembrowski Colin Murdoch, is Dan's father and the owner of the family's bait shop in the docks. He knows his son would rather hang out with his friends than work in the shop or do something Dan knows as humiliating, and as a result constantly guilt trips him. In Mission to Planet X, Dwayne was taken over by an alien stronger than Copernicus and nearly cocooned the whole town but was stopped by Troll, Kurt and Calamary. Mrs. Zembrowski Nicole Oliver, is Dan's mother. She runs a daycare class at her house. Terence Buckshot Kyle Rideout, is West Iron High's bully who tends to mess with Dan. This usually results in Dan using the package he recently received to one-up him. Although Terence usually comes out on top, he always gets his comeuppance. Mr. Dooley Michael Dangerfield is the science teacher to West Iron High who resembles the typical strict teacher. He tend to fail Dan either because he goofs off or just for the fun of it. The group once suspected him of working with Copernicus, but was later revealed to be hiring him as the new janitor. 
Overlord is the main official of Planet X's leaders and one of three aliens who constantly check on Copernicus's progress. He find him incompetent but is continuously fooled by Dan into thinking Copernicus has taken over Earth. Rory is Amanda's uncle who disappeared leaving his journal behind for his niece to find but in reality, he was taken prisoner on Planet X and escaped Overlord Prison. He was constantly mentioned by Amanda throughout the first season until he appeared in Mission to Planet X, Part 1, wearing glasses and a cloak. In Part 2, he bumped into Amanda and disappeared. It was later revealed that he slipped a note in his journal telling his niece he was alive and collecting intel on Planet X. He also gave her plans for a new interceptor so Dan could start receiving packages again. Mrs. Highborn is Amanda's mother. She's been trying to get Amanda to do girly things like wanting her to dress all pretty, wants her to hang out with female friends, and giving her dolls to play with that cause Amanda to fear dolls. When Amanda learns there's an alien in the beauty pageant and Amanda needs to get in, she calls her mom and Amanda's mom zips right to her all happy that Amanda is doing some girl activity. Mr. and Mrs. Moko are Troll's parents. They run a fishing market and catch fish in the ocean. They appear to be good friends with Dan's father seeing how he runs a bait shop and they come to buy some bait for fishing. <laughs> Episodes